There is more feedback. Uh, Cephalu63 said, I enjoyed this show. I always thought Nash was arrogant. But getting to see him with his guard down shows that he was working. It's nice to see guys like that. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> I, I think he means that the arrogance was a work. No, I, 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 I always said that. I said, you know, like, God, man, like... It's like the whole vanilla midgets, vanilla midgets thing. Like, you can only get away with that if you're a seven foot guy. So you right. say it, and then of course everybody, nobody else. Like, what you basically saying is, I'm 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 playing the heel right now, and I'm gonna go, and and basically take the average male that's five foot nine and say that that's just genetically, just just sewer water. Yeah. And then what? So how many? I mean, so everybody six six and above is going to be like, yeah, I, I see where Nash is coming from. <laughs> all, all eleven people. So I used to always love when I'd walk through the airport and it'd be that guy that'd come up with you. And, you know, he'd, he'd actually be traveling with that one of those shirts on that had his name with a round circle, <laughs> like he just got off, got done welding or something. The Pipe Fitters Union yeah, yeah. outfit. And he'd walk up to me and go, hey, man, uh, how tall are you? I'd say 6'10". What you weigh? Uh, about 305. Yeah, I got a cousin, but mm. two and a half feet taller than you, weighs 900 pounds. I'd be like, you know what, motherfucker, every flight I'm on, somebody's got somebody in their family I walk this planet every day. I travel 300 days a year. I see maybe one guy my height, and he ain't white. <laughs> you know? So I, saw Rasheem, so I saw Rasheem Wallace one time in the Atlanta airport, and I said, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Rasheed's seven foot, but he, he ain't a white boy. Is that is that what you most commonly get from the general public about your height? Like, how tall are you? Like, from grandmothers and shit like is that yeah, the, the go-to it's, it's your height like, it's like god you're you're, you're a big one or, or, the, or the one when you walk in on a plane and and the flight attendant says watch your head oh yeah but everywhere yeah, probably right the whole the whole because you know what when you when you've got fucking not a ounce of pigment in your body <laughs> you've been on this planet 60 plus years God, I mean, if I don't have, if, if you if you looked at my forehead and it looked like fucking like flares, mm. you know, you might and, need and it, to be told to watch your head. I, yeah. But obviously, I've got this down because I don't like when you know they people stand like this far apart from each other to get to to, to get in the plane. Yeah, sure. So, and then there's always that that bottleneck because there's always some flight attendants that. Because she's, you know, she's the flight attendant. She's got to go up the aisle and then like swim back as soon as they put people on the plane, so she can bog everything up. And then she's she's always she always ends up in 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 two C. So she decides she's going to pull in at two C, and that's where she's going to let the people go by. And I'll be standing. There, she'll be like, "Go ahead." I'm like. Lady, if I was walking any further than 2C, I wouldn't be getting on this bitch. You're in my spot. I'm in You're 2C. In, right. I'm in first class. Yeah. Mostly. I hope you I hope you have a, an emergency exit. No, nah, bitch. If I had an emergency exit, I wouldn't be getting on this. Do you I debate don't... her about the bulkhead um at that point? Do you do you do you talk about the oh, bulkhead? Oh, I just I just, like... I just had it. I just I had another experience today. What happened? So I, I was supposed to go to uh, uh, I, well, I think it's Montgomery or the, so this guy is you know w wants me to do this 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 Comic Con thing and I said you know what I said a small market is one day in and out I said so we've been talking for, for I mean it was it was been set up for a while and. Um, I finally, you know, send the guy the email. I said, dude, like, you do know I'm flying out of Daytona Beach and the flights are, you know, the flights are, are limited. So he gets on and sees what the what the price of the flights are. He goes, do you have to fly first? I'm like, all right. Like, <laughs> I got a guarantee. I got a guarantee with this guy that's pretty pretty hefty. And if he's if he's balking over 
I said, uh, no. I said, I don't have to fly first class. I said, as a matter of fact, I don't have to come to Alabama. I said, so why don't we just say fuck this? I saw a thing today that was very interesting. 